and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel guys on what has been a phenomenal night of football and I tell you what tonight the emotions they are incredible because not only have we dismantled Sevilla, we have returned from the international break in exactly the same way as we left. And this is what Flick keeps demanding from his squad. No matter what happens, they play in the same way. And tonight Lewandowski picked up exactly where he left off. Pedri scored a stunning goal. Pablo Torre came on and made a real impact. Amazing goals, amazing football. But we also had a truly amazing moment because tonight marked the return of Gavi at Barcelona and what a moment that was. So, so special. It is all on the way, guys. What a night and what a feeling. Let's do this. And I do just want to say, guys, on a really special night, please also stay tuned today to more Talk FCB because, yeah, Player ratings are back. They are on their way back to celebrate such a special game because even before the game began tonight, guys, you could feel inside of the stadium the atmosphere. There was an expectation. There was an excitement amongst all of the Barcelona fans. And Laminia Mal there was presented with his La Liga Player of the Month award. And that was even really nice too. Rafinha gave it to him, then started applauding him with the rest of the squad. The fans were giving him a great ovation. And you could feel this was going to be a special night in store for us fans but when it actually came to the starting lineup here again there was last minute disruption because remember before the break against Alaves Ferran got injured after just a few minutes of that game and we had to switch everything around and this time it was Eric Garcia who actually got injured this time before the game in the warm-up there so it was a last minute change in the lineup Eric Garcia dropping out and then we changed our approach a bit because it was Ansu Fati that ended up replacing him. In the end, he got his start and we got the team that we wanted to see before this game. Because Peña did indeed play in goal there. The back line was as expected. Casado and Pedri holding in midfield. Yamal, Rafinha, Ansu and Lewandowski leading the forward line. What combination play we had there. Because when the game actually began, what we saw was Ansu Fati more central actually than we'd seen him maybe in previous seasons. He's playing in a more central role at times, making runs there close to Lewandowski. Rafinha and Pedri, they were both the advanced players tonight. It wasn't a case yet of Rafinha was the one who was in the central area. Pedri was right there alongside him and you saw that with the goal that he scored. To Barca here against Sevilla going all out attack, taking on the game and what we saw as a result it was magic. Because indeed, the big first moment of this game came when Barca were awarded a penalty there after 22 minutes of it. And I will be the first to admit that, hey, it was a bit of a soft penalty. You know, Rafinha is inside of the box there. There's a bit of contact on him. He goes down and we get the penalty kick. But at the end of the day, none of that really mattered anyway. We destroyed Sevilla tonight. So a penalty here or there, it's not going to make that much difference. Because Lewandowski steps up to the penalty. And although his run-up still gives many of us anxiety. He did tuck it away very, very nicely. You've got to say, he sent the goalkeeper the wrong way. He waits there until the very final minute to choose his corner, pick his spot, and we get underway. Lewandowski scoring first again. That means that all of you guys there, you were right in your prediction. Absolutely spot on. Lewandowski's form, it is unreal right now. Absolutely incredible because it's more than about just goals with him right now, with the way that he is playing. Because even there, the second goal, he he is the very start of it there. He moves the ball on very, very well to Lamine Yamal in space. Yamal then's out wide. He cuts it back. Who is arriving? It is Pedri there into the area. He's actually just outside the box when he takes the strike on. And the way that he hits this... That's the confidence that he's playing with right now. That is the way that Pedri is feeling. It's a rocket there. He whips that beyond the goalkeeper. And the sound when that hit the net. What a goal. What a moment there. That has to be one of my goals of the season so far in terms of pure enjoyment there at that kind of strike. And then seeing again the Pedri celebration. We have missed that very, very much indeed. And Pedri tonight absolutely unreal in his performance. That was 2-0 Barca and a great start start of the game. We are firmly in control and playing very, very well. And I think you understand, really, how good that goal was from Pedri and how good the feeling is, you know, around the team, around the squad. When you look over on the sideline and you see Hansi Flick jumping in the air with a huge 
good smile on his face. This is a guy who keeps himself composed. You know, he doesn't get overexcited. He doesn't get drawn in by anything. But even he could not fail to leap up and enjoy that Pedri goal. What a moment. And then on 35 minutes, guys, Lewandowski should have had another goal. It's great football here. It actually starts from Pauku Barsi. Out the back there, Barca actually launch a counter. Yamal, great flick into Rafinha. And then it's breaking with pace. It's moving the ball on so, so quickly. Getting those combinations going. We work it through to Lewandowski. He's in on goal. Great save, though, by the goalkeeper, you've got to say, to deny Lewandowski another goal. But that should have been yet another one for him. But it's good movement. Really, really quick play. That is what you want to see at Barca. But then, of course, a few minutes later... Well, he gets one anyway. Lewandowski is never going to be too far away from a goal. And it's actually cleared or half cleared by Sevilla from a corner. Rafinha finds himself on the edge of the box there. And I like this approach in corners there. Having him just roaming on the outside, waiting for those loose balls. We saw it plenty of times in this game where he found himself in really good positions. Rafinha then drives it towards goal. And it's actually brilliantly done by Lewandowski. I heard some of the commentators on this one say it was one of the easiest goals Lewandowski will score. But actually, I think there's a lot of good technique in this goal here. It comes at him very, very quickly. He redirects the ball really well. He gets the perfect amount of contact on it. And also what he does too, he keeps himself on side. That is not an easy situation. It's not an easy play at all, but it's a really, really clever goal from Lewandowski. It's what you'd expect from somebody of his calibre. And he doubles his tally. Yet another goal for him. Unbelievable form right now. And another assist too for Rafinha. That was 3-0 Barca. And even before half-time, there were more chances for us in this game. Lamin Yamal had one there just before half-time. Could have easily made it 4-0. I think he was absolutely outstanding tonight. But for a few finishes here and there, he also could have ended the game with multiple goals. No mistake at all. But at half-time, we were cruising. We were in control. We come out the blocks quickly. Everything Flick would have asked for. We were dominating Sevilla tonight. Which is why then, in the second half, guys, well, then the party football really did begin and the festival atmosphere. Let's just start here with La Mina Mal because the shot here, again, that was one of my moments of the game. You know, I know it doesn't go in. I know it's not a goal. But when I saw him even attempt that, it's like, wow, this is absolutely unreal. He takes it on there with the outside of his boot, actually puts it nearly in the top corner, but for a wonderful save from the goalkeeper. That would have been an absolute worldie. And then, literally a minute after that, what does he do? He keeps using the outside of his foot. He's out on the right-hand side, and he plays one of his trademark passes. That's what they're becoming now. Trademark for him. Outside the foot, whips it round the back four, plays Rafinha in, and he finishes it off really well. It looks like it's going to be a wonderful goal, but it's ruled out through offside. But again, the technique from Lamina Mal, you know, almost the audacity to be trying these things, and not only trying them, but pulling them off. It's absolutely incredible to watch. And then, of course, with Barca, so far ahead in the game, in cruise control, really working severe all over the field. Well, we had to see some changes happen. We wanted to see a little bit of rest given out there to key players ahead of the games to come. So on 65 minutes, we did see Fermin Lopez make his return turn to the team. That was great to see there. Rafinha got some rest. Pal Victor came on and Lewandowski there making way. So both Rafinha and Lewandowski receiving a good amount of rest. And then 10 minutes later, we saw Gerard Martin come on for Ansu Fati. Pablo Torre then came on for Lamine Yamal. So really good as well to see Yamal coming off for the end of the game. They're giving him a little bit of rest, making sure that we're not overworking him. That is absolutely vital. So I think good changes there from Hansi Flick. But... We did have a few scares towards the end of the game. And it's interesting here because on the one hand, you look at it here, Kubasi giving away the penalty. We thought he'd given away a penalty, sliding in, bringing down the severe man. It's a penalty given, but it's okay because we caught Sevilla offside. Now, that is the way that all of these attacks seem to end. You know, Sevilla thought they were in, thought they had an opportunity until... The offside flag goes up. And Barca yet again tonight, time and time and time again, we were catching them offside. That line was absolutely perfect. Nine times out of ten, we were getting the result that we wanted. Now, Sevilla did get one back late on in the game. Of course, in the end, they did breach our offside trap on one or two occasions, maybe. But it was, again, very, very effectively done for the majority. But let's talk about Pablo Torre. Because, like I say, guys, he comes on for the final 15 minutes of the game... 
What an impact he had. And this is really interesting here. Coming off the bench, chipping in with goals. That's what you want from your players there. That is what you want from a player like this. Is coming on and snatching an opportunity. We saw him score against Villarreal. He scored again here. It took a deflection, the first one. Obviously, we understand that. But it's still important for him. And again, later on in the game, it's a cross that he plays in. An in-swinging ball. But even if that doesn't go in from him... It's a wonderful cross. And when we signed Pablo Torre, he was known, by the way, as a set-piece master. He's brilliant there from free kicks. He's fantastic from corners. So this is something that he definitely can do. Brilliant ball in. Inigo, I don't think, gets any touch on it. And in the end, it beats the goalkeeper. So Pablo Torre, he's had limited minutes. He's had to be really, really patient so far this season. He's got lots of competition, of course, from those around him in his area. But he comes on tonight, scores twice... What more can you ask for? However, guys, with all of that said and all of that enjoyed, you know, we love the goals tonight. We love the football from Barcelona. We love what Hansi Flick is doing with this team. But the moment of the game, the moment really of the season, all leading up to this moment... Gavi's return to the field because even when he was warming up tonight it was actually just before Pablo Torre scored his first goal there was a roar from the stadium there it was like we'd scored a goal to see that okay Gavi's warming up and he's coming on this is happening his chant was ringing around the stadium it was absolutely unbelievable and then to see him standing on the side of the field waiting to come on then to see it was Pedri's number that went up of all the people to come off for Gavi it had to be Pedri there and he walks over he's got the captain's armband off and to see him put that armband on Gaffy to see him come on then and again the roar the feelings from the crowd that is a moment that will stay with me that is a moment there that you felt you looked at the players applauding him as he came on this is why Barca is more than a club this is why it means more to experience these emotions and that is why wins like tonight, guys, with the players that we have, with a connection that we feel to them, to the coaching staff, to the work that is being done at this club, it simply means more. And I cannot wait for the week to come. Up next, it is Bayern Munich. And after that, it is Real Madrid. And we are ready for what's to come. Please do let me know, guys, all of your emotions tonight, watching that game, being entertained by this team, and then seeing the return of Gavi onto the field again. Please do let me know, guys, all of that down below. And like I say, stay tuned to More Talk FCB. The fun ain't done. Player ratings are on the way. And I will catch all of you guys soon. But until next time, as always, Vizca, El Barca. Uh -huh.